Hello everybody, in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a fully working keycard door in Minecraft Bedrock 1.16. This works on all Bedrock versions and I'm pretty sure will work on Java as well. It's simple, all you need is one keycard, which you can only, if I press this button now, it does not open the door. But if I put in the keycard, it will open the door and I can get to all of my rare valuables that I've put inside there. Then I have to press it again to close it, take the keycard back out, and nobody else can uh, can make it work. If I say I put in something that's not the correct keycard, nothing happens. And it will just completely reject my item. The first part of your build is the keycard reading system. You need to, first of all, make a place for your door to go. Break two blocks down there, one block away to the right from the edge of your wall. Then make sure you have some floor. This cannot be a slab though, as you will need to put a redstone torch beneath it to activate the door. Then come and place your door in there, and that is going to be the door that is activated by your keycard reader. The next part is just to make the keycard reader itself. First, go two blocks to the right of the door and break one block. This needs to be one block off the ground. Then head over to the back of your wall and place down a dropper. Then place your hopper going into the dropper and place one block going out like this. Put the redstone comparator on top of that block and then two more blocks coming around as so, with one more block there. Come down beneath it, place two blocks like this, then break that one, and put a redstone repeater in this position. Then put two redstone dust there and there, and a redstone torch here. That is your keycard reader all done. To make your T flip flop, you will now need to place a redstone torch on the back of this block, place two blocks beneath the torch, break this block, place a redstone dust which should immediately activate, place two blocks like this, break that block, and then place another redstone dust there. Then you will need to place another three blocks along like this, with one repeater facing this way on no ticks, another repeater facing this way which should have this line of bedrock down it because it is locked by this one, and then you need to do three ticks. Well, not three, four. Click it three times, but it needs, but that will make it on four ticks. Then place one block here and another block on top of it. Break the block beneath it and place down a redstone torch. Then you'll need to get another redstone repeater to place it there. Two blocks behind these two repeaters, with two redstone dust on both of them. Then it can be helpful to break this piece of dust here. Then you'll see it will start going around the clock. Then just place it back a couple times until you can get it so that that repeater now looks like this. Then you'll need to place a couple blocks out like this and you should, if you place slabs at the top it will make it easier to recognise which block your door is on. Then you need to place blocks all along around this, this is four blocks along, break that block, place two more down like this, and then place redstone all on top of those blocks. Then your final step is to place this redstone torch there, which will open your door. You may need one button, which I forgot to put in the materials list, but those will also be in the description. I'm just going to steal one from here for now, and then you need to place your button on top of, well, to the side and on this dropper. Then you will have six books and quills. Open one book, place a random, put down a random letter, then sign it give it a name, I'm just going to put it keycard and then sign and close. This is just a book and then you're going to need to repeat this for all of your other books and quills. You just have six exactly identical with the same number of spaces, letters on the inside, name and author. These books should be completely identical to each other and have to be made exactly like this for it to work. These books should all be able to stack if you quick move them. So you see I've done that, and they can stack because they're all exact clones. Once you've got all your six 
books, which are exactly the same, you need to head back over into the hopper and then just slide them along. I have a dodgy controller, so this is incredibly difficult for me, but just put one along in each of them. Then you should have five along here, and if the last one goes missing, it'll be right here. Just take it back out again, put it back in, and this will be able to open and close your keycard door. Only with it inside will the button work, and if you second you take it out, it will no longer function. It will just make a little clicking noise. Then, I'm going to keep it shut for now. You can take it out, and as I said before, nobody else can use this. You can then build a hallway to a different room, a little storage unit like I had in the example over there, or whatever you want on the other side of this door. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and this has been Squirrel.